great occasion for the club tonight. But there is a football match, of course. One of these clubs' unbeaten seasons will come to an end. How have you ensured that it won't be ours? Can't ensure nothing, mate. <laughs> Can't ensure nothing. Um, listen, it's going to be a good occasion. Um, we're the underdogs. They're, they're, they play the league above us. Um, but it's FA Cup night, and um, we're up for it. We're buzzing. It's going to be good game of football. Um, I'm sure we'll give a good account of ourselves. Um, and that's the main thing really for me tonight, that we'll play the performance. Uh, as long as we do that, there won't be no complaints from me. But um, listen, everyone's talking about the first round already. We've got a, we've got a tough game here tonight. It's not going to be a gimme there for side. And um, we're going to have to be at our best to get through. Mm -hmm. You mentioned in an interview with a local newspaper that managing the, your time in charge of the club, you compared it to the saying, Rome wasn't built in the day. Do you think this club has made some real long-lasting progress at the start of this season? Uh, listen, yeah, it's been three years and, uh, you know, I've took a lot of stick here for the last two years um, on decisions I made. And, um, but I always make the decisions what I think are best for this football club. And, uh, yeah, Rome weren't built in a day, but it's took a long. I've got a squad of players here now that I believe in. Um, I think we've got the best, best team we've had here for many a year. Um, so, but it takes time and you can't, it just doesn't happen overnight. And, um, but now we hopefully we you know win or lose tonight we put ourselves in good shape for the rest of the season in the league and um, our aim is to get promoted. Um, the cup's great as well. Um, it's great for the club, cameras, talk sport, BBC News, the publicity and everything we're getting is brilliant. But as I said to you before, main focus is to um, is to is to get promoted this year. But we'll be doing everything in our power to try and get through the first round tonight. Mm -hmm. And when you talk to the players a bit later, how are you going to uh, make sure that they don't put any unnecessary pressure on themselves in front of the TV cameras? Listen, I, I don't think I, I, it's just don't play the, play the game, not the occasion. Um, and that's what I'll be saying to them: play the game, not the occasion. I think you know, once the, once the game starts and the whistle goes, um, players will just play the normal game. <laughs> Um, any team news for us? We saw Aaron Green go off injured in the last game, and Ben Marlow missed it. Um, he didn't. He wasn't involved in the match at all. Were they both back? Yeah, I'm hoping to so say both players are fit. So Ben and Aaron both start tonight. Mm -hmm. So uh, we start with the same team that we uh, believe started with Royston. With yeah, those three with the same starting eleven. Yeah. 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 Okay. And a quick word on the club volunteers. I mean, the club, the stands look great. All the barriers and that, all the COVID measures. Just a quick word on the volunteers who worked so hard to get this listen, occasion. Listen, fantastic. Absolutely. Fantastic. I've got lads here who work for me that come here um, that are working and I think we've got 25 stewards here tonight. Um, I was here yesterday myself with Ian. We were repairing the roof on the on the porter cabin down here. We was putting up there. Uh, it's just it's, it's what non-league football is all about. It's um, we live and breathe the football club. So I just hope we get a result. Mm -hmm. Best of luck tonight. Cheers. Cheers.